Imagine this. During the Great Depression, when money was scarce, some families used glass marbles as currency to trade for food. Shocking, right? These tiny spheres hold a much bigger history than you'd expect. Now, fast forward to modern times, where glass marbles are not just toys, but intricate works of art. But how are they made? The journey from raw materials to these mesmerizing, perfect little orbs is nothing short of magical. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of crafting glass marbles. Step one, the secret recipe for marbles. The journey of glass marbles begins with the right mix of raw materials. Silica sand is the main ingredient, and it's combined with soda ash, limestone, and feldspar to create the glass mixture. What's cool about this step is that the recipe can change based on the type of marble being produced. For example, adding lead makes the marbles denser, and you can even add metallic oxides to give the marbles unique colors and patterns. Did you know that the addition of cobalt oxide can turn a marble blue, while iron oxide gives it a green hue? Some of the most valuable marbles even have tiny gold or silver streaks running through them. This happens when a pinch of precious metal oxide is added to the mix, turning a simple toy into something quite special. Step two, melting the ingredients. Things heat up. Once the raw materials are all mixed together, they're fed into a massive furnace. And when I say massive, I mean it. These furnaces heat up to over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. The mixture melts down into molten glass, glowing orange from the heat. Imagine standing next to one of these furnaces. It's like being near a volcano. What's really neat is that the glass is kept at just the right temperature to make sure it stays in a workable state. If it cools down too much, it hardens and can't be shaped. So keeping that molten glass hot and ready is a key part of the process. It's a fiery and fascinating stage that feels like modern day alchemy. Step three, shaping the marbles. The magic begins. Now that the glass is molten, it's time to turn it into those perfect little spheres. This is done using machines with rollers or molds that shape the glass into marbles. Some old school factories even have workers who shape them by hand, which is incredibly skilled work. Watching this step is like watching magic unfold. Here's a fun fact. Some marbles are shaped using centrifugal force. The molten glass is spun at high speeds and the force pulls it into a perfect sphere. It's amazing how this scientific principle is used to make something as simple as a marble. Who knew marbles were so high tech? Step four, adding colors and designs. The artistry. At this stage, the glass marbles are still hot and soft which makes it the perfect time to add colors and designs. Workers use small tools or inject dyes directly into the molten glass to create beautiful, intricate patterns. Some marbles are swirled with colors, while others have tiny flecks of metal inside. One of the coolest techniques is using heated glass canes to create detailed patterns within the marbles. The artistry involved in making these marbles is incredible, and it's what makes every marble unique. No two marbles are exactly the same, which is why collectors prize them so highly. Step 5. Cooling Down a slow process. Once the marbles are shaped and decorated, they need to cool down, but not too fast. If the cooling process happens too quickly, the marbles can crack or shatter. To avoid this, they are placed in a cooling chamber where the temperature is slowly lowered, allowing the marbles to solidify without any damage. It's like giving the marbles a gentle landing after all that heat and pressure. If you've ever wondered why marbles are so smooth and crack-free, this controlled cooling process is the secret. Slow and steady wins the race when it comes to cooling glass marbles. Step six polishing to perfection. After cooling, the marbles still aren't quite finished. They need to be polished to achieve that shiny, smooth surface we all love. This is done by tumbling the marbles in rotating drums filled with abrasive materials. The marbles get a smooth, glossy finish after being tumbled around for a while. What's interesting is that different grades of abrasive materials are used in stages, going from rough to fine. This ensures that every little imperfection is smoothed out. It's like giving the marbles a mini spa treatment to make them gleam. Step seven, sorting, quality control in action. Once the marbles are polished, it's time to sort them. This is a crucial step where each marble is checked for size, color, and quality. Machines do most of the work, using sensors to detect any imperfections like bubbles or cracks. Any marbles that don't pass a test are removed from the production line. Believe it or not, some factories can sort hundreds of marbles per minute. It's a high-speed process, but no marble slips through without being checked. This attention to detail is what makes sure only the best marbles make it to the store shelves. Step eight, packaging, ready for the world. After sorting, the marbles are packaged and prepped for shipping. They're placed in bags or containers, and care is taken to label them by size and color. Since marbles are fragile, they're wrapped in protective materials like foam padding or bubble wrap to prevent them from breaking during transport. One fun fact, marble packaging machines can handle hundreds of marbles at a time, making the process super efficient. 
Once packed, these little gems are sent out to stores around the world, ready to be discovered by children and collectors alike. Step 9. A Rich History Behind Marbles Marbles might seem like simple toys, but they have a rich history dating back to ancient times. Glass marbles were found in Egyptian tombs from as far back as 4000 BC. Even the Romans played with marbles, using them in games for both kids and adults. In the 19th century, marbles became more accessible as they were mass produced in the United States. By the early 20th century, they were one of the most popular toys in America. And did you know, glass marbles were even used as currency in some places, traded for goods and services. Step 10, collector's gold, the value of rare marbles. Glass marbles aren't just for playing games. They can be valuable collector's items too. Some rare marbles, especially those with intricate patterns or made from special materials, fetch high prices at auctions. Collectors search for marbles with unique designs and some can sell for thousands of dollars. There's a whole world of marble collectors out there, and they're always on the lookout for that next rare find. Whether it's a marble with a unique swirl pattern or one made from rare glass, these tiny treasures hold immense value for the right person. Who knew marbles could be worth so much? And there you have it, the incredible journey of how glass marbles are made from raw materials to polished perfection, these tiny spheres are truly a blend of art and science. Keep an eye out for them the next time you see a marble, knowing the fascinating process behind every one. Thanks for watching.